Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. My last two videos have focused on two of the 12 sites that make up the Tastapella archaeological project in Turkey. 12 sites around the Haran Plain that date to the pre-pottery Neolithic era of ancient Anatolia, between 12,000 and 9,000 years ago. Going back to this map that was published by the Daily Sabah, and after a brief look at Karahan Tepe and Harbetsevan Tepesi, I next decided to travel east to see what I could find out about Sefa Tepe, one of the lesser known sites of the Twelve. At this stage, I must say that pictures from this site are few and far between, so apologies if this video is not visually appealing, but I will give you the information that's available. Sefer Tepe was discovered in 2003, another pre-pottery Neolithic site located 72 kilometers east of San Liurfa. It's a small, broad and shallow limestone mound at 700 meters altitude above sea level, and the settlement is built directly onto the bedrock and covers an area of 1,000 square meters. The closest water source is 500 meters to the east, there is also a possible ancient basalt quarry just 2 kilometers to the north, but there are no local sources of flint. When experts first surveyed the land, 16 T-shaped pillars were found in situ, and of course the link was instantly made to Gebekli Tepe. Like with the other Tepe sites, the T-shaped pillars are arranged side by side at 1.5 to 2 meter intervals. The pillars themselves are around 50 centimeters wide and 20 to 40 centimeters in thickness, just like we see at Harbetsevan Tepesi. They are likely around 1 to 2 meters in height. Also, like Harbetsevan Tepesi, they have been compared to the stone structures in layer 2 of Gebekli Tepe, indicating they're from the pre pottery Neolithic B around 11,000 to 9,000 years ago. This intact pillar, 198 centimetres in length, was found during the construction of a country house at the southeastern corner of the settlement. There are no reliefs or engravings, but experts noted that it was extremely flat, being just 25 centimetres in thickness. This pillar was also found at the same time in two pieces, and has been compared to one of the central pillars from the Vali Kori. It stands 2 meters tall, 75 centimeters wide, and 40 centimeters in thickness, and some of the archaeologists believe there is a faint Bucranium sketch depicted, aka the skull of an ox. This would not be uncommon. YouTuber and researcher Ziggy Dan, whose channel and Twitter I've linked below, spotted this ox skull in one of the recent pictures from Karahan Tepe, and it's situated in the corner of an enclosure. So, such a depiction at Sefer Tepe would not be out of the question. There were no ceramic finds, again evidence that it was from the pre-pottery Neolithic, and flint and obsidian tools and hunting weapons were found, including arrowheads, perforators, scrapers, borers and blades. Flint finds outweigh obsidian by 7 to 1. The flint finds are also very typical of the pre-pottery Neolithic, with identical finds at Gebekli Tepe, Navali Kori and Karahan Tepe. Because of the lithic tools, the similarities to layer 2 structures at Gebekli Tepe, the similarities to Harbetsevan Tepesi, as well as a lack of ceramics, experts can safely assume that this site does belong to the early to mid pre-pottery Neolithic B, around 11,000 to 9,000 years ago. I can't find out a great deal more about this site at present, but I assume that excavations are either taking place or are planned. It's the easternmost site of the Tastapella archaeological project, but still quite close to the major centre of Karahan Tepe. Sefer Tepe is possibly a settlement or cultic centre, and if I can find out anything more, I'll report it here on the Ancient Architects channel. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.